Back now with the search for whoever committed a cruel crime in Norfolk. The victim in this case, a Canada goose. The bird was found with an arrow through its body in the Little Creek Channel off David Court. If the suspect is found, it could face some pretty big trouble. And your side's Brandy Cummings now with how the officers got the animal, Brandy. Guys, this is a story that's so bizarre that the officer responding to the 911 call didn't even believe it until he saw it. But now he's looking for the culprit. Pictures only tell part of the story. A practice arrow stuck through the body of this Canada goose. It was rescued thanks to some quick thinking contractors. I was working on cutting holes for these uh, posts to do the handrails. Bill Snyder was working on this deck behind a home on David Court. The contractors often see birds, but one swimming by on Tuesday afternoon made them take a second look. And I noticed the arrow. But Bill Hume jumped in this canoe like he did for us today, going after the bird, trying to rescue it. And even though he was working, he put down everything he had going and did what I think was the right thing to do. They called 911. Officer Adam Blankenship was dispatched. It definitely seems pretty strange. He got there, jumped in the canoe to get the bird, even giving it a new name. I said, oh man, we, we have to get this goose. There, there's something special about this goose. And I jokingly said, I'm going to call this goose Robin Hood just because of the arrow through through the body and he's still fighting to survive. On the way back to shore, Hume took this picture. You could see the goose was knew that he was in much better hands. It's a story they can tell for years to come, but there's another important element to this narrative. It is a uh, federal offense. These birds are migratory birds. You heard that right. It's a federal crime to shoot geese, especially outside of hunting season, which doesn't begin until next week. Police want to find out who did this because things could have been worse. If it had missed the goose and go gone across the water or wherever this happened, it could have injured somebody else. And within the last hour, we got a sad update. That goose had to be euthanized. But if you know who did this, call the crime line. That number, one triple eight lock you up. You can find details about the punishment right now on wavy.com. I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.